Hello, it's Bill again, and today we're going to do a quick dive into entropy. So, in local systems, entropy increases or remains the same in idealized processes. But on a universal scale, entropy conserves through the redistribution of degrees of freedom between cosmic and local scales. So here we have a couple cases. We have case one, where a particle crosses a cosmic horizon, and that crossing expands the cosmic horizon by one Planck area, that's plus one cosmic, and the particle is now out of causal contact, so that's minus one local, entropy conserves. On case two, we have, this is for entangled spin, and A will shrink its cosmic horizon by one Planck area, to share its spin information with B, and then when B is measured, it will emit a Hawking photon to conserve energy and entropy. And then the last case where entropy conserves is during the Big Bang. So here, during the Big Bang, we have a particle orange off to the side here. The Big Bang's cosmic horizons expanded, and blue was out of causal contact. It went, the cosmic horizon went and swept over blue, and consumed one Planck area, minus one, low, uh, sorry, minus one cosmic. And then now, as the horizon kept moving, we have the spin encoded on orange's horizon. So we have plus one for the particle and minus one for the cosmic horizon that encoded it. And that is entropy, the quick dive. I have a much more detailed explanation in my playlist. Please check that out. And remember, gravity is for the masses. Have a great day.